Hi guys, hope you're having a great weekend. I'm George Troop here in the LondonMarkets.com office. Looking forward to what's going on in the markets in the week ahead. Overall, it looks like we've got some big events across the globe uh, that could have some really big impacts on commodities, indices and currency pairs. So let's take a look at what's coming up. First on the agenda, OPEC, a meeting in Vienna on Thursday and Friday to discuss further changes to oil production curve worldwide. Currently, the OPEC coalition have an agreement to reduce oil production by 1.2 million barrels a day. And most, uh, most experts and the markets expect them to extend these cuts further into June or July uh, until the next meeting. We'll have to see if they continue with that or if they agree to increase the cuts even further, which could have a huge effect on oil prices and markets. Oil prices have recovered from their Christmas low, but have settled between 80 to 90 dollars a barrel. Uh, so keep an eye out on Thursday and Friday for the announcements coming from the meeting there. For Australia, the RBA is meeting on Tuesday to discuss Australian interest rates. The Royal Bank of Australia are expected to make further cuts eventually, but will it be this meeting? Their last meeting, uh, they agonised over the specific cuts to make. Uh, and so markets expect there to be no change at this particular meeting. Uh, but if Australians are, if the Australians are feeling more aggressive, it could have a serious impact on the currency pairs. Moving on to PMI figures, can Chinese manufacturing figures uh, continue to defy pressure from the US-China trade war? We may find out with the release of the Kai Chin PMI figures on Monday. A month ago, the survey hit its, hit its highest in three years as factory activity outweighed US-China trade doubts. Following that, we'll have the ISM report in the US and elsewhere, the UK PMI figures on Wednesday will be taken as a good indication for the state of the UK economy with Brexit and the UK election up and coming. And looking ahead to Friday, it's non-farm payrolls day in the US. The monthly US labor figures are always closely monitored and can have a very quick impact on the markets. Although things are running at a slower rate than 2018, the US labor market continues to stay intact. Last month's report showed non-farm payrolls up 128K in October, well ahead of the 85K that was previously expected. The August print was revised up 51K to 219K, and the September number was hiked by 44 to 180K. The three-month average at 176k against the 223k average in 2018. The revisions are really the bright spot as it indicates August and September prints were nowhere near as weak as thought. It'll be really interesting to see what happens with this month's results. And finally, on Wednesday, the Bank of Canada will be meeting, uh, although they are not expected to change cuts at all. Uh, markets have been eyeing a cut upcoming, but for the moment, officials believe things are right for now. That's all I've got for you today, guys. On Thursday, keep an eye out for a brand new exclusive show to X-Ray. It's gonna be hosted by trader Mark Chapman, explaining his very specialized trading strategy. It's called Trading the Kill Switch. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. It's on Thursday at 12, moving forwards. Otherwise, we'll be back with our daily election updates every day at 11, uh, as well as all your usual market news and usual programs. Please keep watching X-Ray, have a good time trading, and have a great week. Thanks so much.